Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Shoman. So far, we went through all the overview processes for oil and gas field, for pipeline process flow. Today is also overview, but now we are systematically entering in the pipeline construction process. I will now make overview of all the sub processes. As I said before, procurement is a field, design is a field who work inside office and their hard work is not visible at sight. So today our topics will be procurement process flow. We will see the basic processes involved in procurement, how to procure material by an EPC contractor. When we say procurement, there are few questions. There are few questions comes out from our mind. Do you know how EPC contractor procure materials for the project? Do you know vendor or supplier selection process? Do you know how to handle company supplied materials? Do you know all the background processes before physically purchasing the material? Do you know the quality assurance and control during procurement process? Do you know how to deal with the equipment deficiency report, EDR or non-conformity report, NCR? Now, if I reply the first questions, automatically most of these other questions will be replied. The procurement procedure for EPC contractor working in Saudi Arabia or this can be the basic fundamental for procuring material for a project for most of the countries in the world. First step, you can see I made a flowchart and this flowchart will sequentially tell you the processes. First of all, finalize scope of material to be procured. Means at the beginning of the project, we should have a key design drawing. From this key design drawing, the issued for construction drawing will be prepared. So when the drawings are almost at the final stage, in parallel, uh, material specialist from the company they decide the final scope of the material to be procured. So some of the project materials are supplied by company itself. Let's say for the pipeline, it is very popular that line pipes are all supplied by the company. Some special alloying material, let's say in colloy or stainless steel, sometimes companies supply it in the form of uh, fittings, pipe and contractor to fabricate this or sometimes they are even giving us the completed spools, especially in the onshore maintenance potential, wellhead related, flow line related projects. Then the remaining a lot of materials based on the volume of the project are being procured by the EPC contractor itself. So when this scope is finalized that how much material EPC contractor need to purchase, then the uh, after MR finalized, then contractor send request to the uh, different vendor for the quotation, which is called RFQ. After that RFQ came, then this technical bid evaluation uh, takes place, means a lot of vendors will quote for uh, supplying these materials, but it doesn't mean that everybody will get, they will, uh, they will also check the capacity of the vendor and then contractor is selecting the best vendor which is economical as well as have potential to supply material to. After that technical evaluation finalized, then no objection letter from the company has been taken. This vendor can supply this material, you can adopt it. We have to finalize the purchase order with, with the finalized vendor. After PO has been prepared, then we need to prepare the non-material record or NMR at the preliminary stage. It will be in advanced stage of uh, fabrication or manufacturing or inspection. All documents will be incorporated in the NMR itself. Approval of inspection assignment package is the place from where quality department will be very busy for the inspection kind of activity. Inspection assignment package in short we are telling IAP. After IAP approval, the pre-inspection meeting is being arranged. 
the participants are vendor inspection department from company the vendor itself and the company representative and the contractor representative in the pre inspection meeting the inspection test plan is being finalized now itp means inspection test plan is ready now vendor will start procuring their raw materials to fabricate or manufacture the equipment or fabricate whatever which is applicable so then manufacturing started from vendor inspector from contractor as well as the vid representative is time to time present based on the level of inspection based on the restriction of the inspection after manufacturing and fabrication finish during this fabrication or manufacturing process there might be non conformity there might be equipment deficiency report in short we can say ncr or edr the vendor must uh, comply to it they must rectify it after clearing ncr edr factory acceptance test and hydro test will be done which will be the final acceptance by vendor inspection so then the vendor inspection will release the material or the equipment which is called inspection release note irn after irn is finish vendor responsibility is almost over they will send the material or equipment to the site for project use or project installation now still the documentation is open with company vendor department now contractor procurement representative which is procurement quality supervisor pqcs he has to submit final disposition report or fdr this final disposition report or fdr includes all the nmr documents at the final stage signed by all parties then this full procurement of this material quality wise construction wise is completed and ready for site use now this was a total flow chart overview let us go for little bit in detail for this sub processes the first step we discussed that define the scope of the materials to be procured by contractor generally line pipes some fittings some equipment valves special materials like alloy some fabricated spools are supplied by the company preparing material requisition or mr all materials to be categorized and mr shall be prepared by contractor engineering team this means categorize means flanges all the flanges will be ordered generally in one mr and then all the valves will be segregated pipes fittings and all electrical materials telecom material all will be segregated and sorted in a very disciplinary way and the mr will be prepared so the material requisition is provided by company itself and the technical and quality part will be reviewed by the contractor and engineering team then it will go for further approval so you can see material requisition processing steps what to review technically is the material specification material description sizes quantity data sheet safety instruction sheets drawing company standards contractor engineering team as well as quality team they will check if it is complying the project requirement quality guys will review the company approved commodity list means the material we are ordering the specification should be as per company approved commodity list applicable company standards complying or not company inspection request there is a specific form which is inspection request form correct level of inspection is selected or not as per company standard level of inspection will discuss later updated regulated vendor list that means uh, the material selected from the updated regulated vendor list by the company or not mr requisition goes through company approval so you can see the flow first go to company material specialist then to company project management team pmt and finally approval comes from company vendor inspection department which is called vid we have to note that inspectable material to be approved by material specialist pmt and vid and non inspectable material to be approved by material specialist and pmt so what is inspectable and what is non inspectable we'll see little bit later 
Now, material requisition is approved. Now, we need to purchase the material. For purchasing the material, we need to prepare purchase order. So, for preparing purchase order, it is not a straightforward steps. There are many sub steps to follow before we prepare the purchase order. This flowchart is a very brief example of this process flow here. Approved MR first goes to procurement team. Procurement team will send a request for quotation for the material. Let's say take an example we have to procure a flange. We have to see from the regulated vendor list who is approved vendor for supplying or manufacturing a flange. They have to select vendors from that list then request for quotation to be floated only to the approved manufacturer. Uh, they will send us quotation or bid with their prices. So design consultant will check the technical portion and contractor management will check the commercial bid evaluation because they have to pay the money. They will look for the cheap and best company. Offer is compliance with the requirement. Technical and commercial both has to agree with, with one vendor. Then they have to issue a no objection letter. This no objection letter contractor has to submit to the company. Accordingly, purchase order will be finalized. Now this is very important to know the inspection level and each level what type of inspection, how much restrictions are there starting from non-inspectable, level 0, level 1, 2, 3 and 4. Inspection level when it is non-inspectable as the name suggests, inspection nothing required from vendor inspection department but there is MR required. Without the item included in the MR, you cannot purchase anything. Then IAP also not required. IAP inspection assignment package is only required when inspection to be assigned. Here no inspection required for VID, so no IAP is required. Level 0 material shall be procured from approved source. In this case also direct inspection not required from VID, but MR required, IAP not required. Level 1 inspection only final inspection from VID is required, but MR of course required, in this case IAP also required. Level 2, PIM means pre-inspection meeting to be held to finalize the inspection test plan. In process there will be some VID inspection required and final also there is VID inspection required. MR required, IAP required. From level 1 onwards, MR and IAP is a mandatory requirement. Level 3, we are getting more strict now. So same as level 2, but process shall be periodical. Means frequency of vendor inspection will shall be increased. And how much it shall be increased? It will be decided in the pre-inspection meeting. In which stages the VID inspections are whole point. Level 4 is the most restricted one. Here, one permanent vendor inspection every day he will be sitting with the vendor's facility. We always follow this basic table to check the inspection level requirement. Now, inspection assignment package has to be prepared. Uh, IAP is required from level 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, the content of the inspection assignment package is uh, having, as you can see, inspection assignment sheet no objection letter approved copy, inspection assignment approval sheet, IAP checklist, unpriced purchase order, SAP PO, approved material requisition or MR, inspection test plan, company standards and IR forms, non-material requirements which I already mentioned that NMR, pre-inspection meeting agenda if any that is also required for inspection level 2, 3 and 4 and then third party inspector CV who will represent the vendor inspection department. Some notes IAP is only for equipment or material that has inspection level up to 1 and 4 in the last table we have seen. For inspection level 2 and above IAP shall be submitted 21 days prior to the pre-inspection meeting and start of any fabrication. For inspection level 1 IAP shall be submitted 14 days before final inspection. We must know the whole system to have a better efficiency in our work. 
inspection assignment package always go through company approval in the similar way like AMR. First it goes through company material specialist, then it goes to PMT, then it goes to vendor. Final approval comes from the vendor inspection department. Inspection lot number, what is this? This is some new unique 12 digit number which will be used to identify the future inspection reference for this particular material. So if IAP is approved, the IL number will be assigned to the package. Below are the process flow. Approved IAP, going to inspection lot number or IL number, then the material or equipment inspection activity may, may proceed. Without IL number, nobody will inspect the material. Material equipment inspection activity. You can see this is a, only a small site, but this is the whole quality procedure involved in this slide. We will have a different video for this quality related uh, inspection with a little bit of detail. Below are the brief major activities to be followed. First we need to do PIM where we need, then material receiving inspection means the raw materials for manufacturing, uh, for manufacturing any machine or equipment or whatever the product will be the raw materials receiving inspection then there will be in process inspection during fabrication or manufacturing after the process finish the final acceptance will be hydro test or factory acceptance test which is shortly termed as fat as applicable final inspection and issuance of inspection release note or IRN in between there might be some NCR or EDR which is kind of non-conformity so that one must be cleared before final inspection otherwise there will be no IRN. When all the vendor inspection activities are done and accepted by VID material inspection release is being issued. Accordingly material delivered to site for further use or installation in the project. To close the inspection lot in the VID system, contractor PQCS means Procurement Quality Control Supervisor need to submit the FDR to the VID. So what it contains actually? Copy of all approved waivers to Saudi Aramco requirements if any, copy of all inspection report, copy of all manufacturer quality records, copy of all NCRs or EDRs with resolutions mean with proper closure documents. FDR shall be prepared within two weeks of acceptance of the material or equipment. Actually, this FDR is also required uh, by the site inspectors when it is delivered to site and they will conduct a site material receiving inspection. So project inspection will require this final disposition reports document. So hope you already got an overview and brief idea for total procurement process flow for any PC project. Any further questions or if you need me to make a detailed video on any of the items we have discussed, please put me in the comment. By then, goodbye. Meet you in the next video. If you like my video, please share and subscribe. Signing off, so much.